Department of AIDS, M. Kumar Swami College of Engineering, Karur. Welcome here, sir. It's my immense pleasure to welcome our beloved principal, Dr. M. Kartikeyan, sir, who has been always a great support and guide to initiate the new things. Welcome here, sir. I gladly welcome our vice principal, Dr. V. Magalakshmi, ma'am, in her absence here. It's an indeed great joy to welcome our faculty members and the staff members of CES department. Welcome you ma'am. To top it all off, I welcome all the students to this problem solving ideation. Thank you all. I request Mrs. C. B. of 2nd CES to deliver a guest profile. Mr. K. J. Ganesh Kumar, Sarasami Chok, who is an assistant professor in M. Kumar Sami College of Engineering in Chittamani of Madurai. He has been working as an assistant professor since February of 
we couldn't able to get proper uh, power supply for that particular light right so this is the problem in the sense we have to think not only uh, to work with the light okay so how it works so what are the things that we need to do to make that particular street light to work right so we have to also think uh, so if uh, if there is any condition that might interrupt the power supply like that okay so for example uh, weather might be a chances of uh, fluctuating your uh, power supply or uh, in case if there is a strong wind in the sense so there might be some uh, uh, disturbances on the wires so that might uh, affect the continuous supply for that uh, particular street light okay uh, so you you have to think on that way too right so that is the exact thing of understanding a problem okay uh, so our major core is we have to work out with the street light and it should work properly and uh, another thing is uh, uh, you you might be able to automate it for example um, you might be able to implement some smart things on that uh, way okay so that uh, uh, um, uh, street light could be able to work automatically without any human intervention and uh, you might you might be able to uh, give some or things or you might be able to give some uh, programmatic logics you might be able to implement uh, some kind of circuit logics for that to make your uh, street light to work okay for example a simple switch might be able to make your uh, street light on or off but you, you you should not work with that okay as any human uh, could could not able to control with that you just have to program uh, so when it should on and when it should off okay for example if it is uh, uh 6 pm on a day in the sense on the evening uh so the light should automatically turn on and uh, on the next day morning by 6 am it should automatically turn off likewise if you are implementing that in the sense so it is like an added advantage so without any human intervention you are going to make on the light to work okay so this is an alternative way uh, for uh, making a solution to a problem okay so likewise also we have to think right let me move on to the next slide so Uh, so we are going to explore so how a problem could be solved in an innovative way so this is the thing so meanwhile i'm going to present you with some uh, badwani foundation's uh, slides so under my personal login okay so as i said earlier our problem uh, should be uh, ideated in a dramatic way right for example we should not only think about the problem we should we also must uh, consider so what are the causes that might happen uh, if that problem exists for example if the street light is not working in the sense you should know so if it is not working in the sense then what what are the impacts that might affect what are the causes that might be faced what are the consequences that we might face like that you have to think so that only you can able to promote your solution for that particular problem uh, more than in an innovative way okay um for example um uh, if if the light is not working in the sense so there might be of ha- there might be of uh, happening of accidents in case if there is a roadway in the sense uh, so some uh, people who ever travel on that particular road they, they might not able to see uh, there might be some pitfalls on the road okay they could not able to identify that pitfall so there might be uh, having some rash drives on that so likewise you have to think and uh, uh, you should uh, promote these uh, drawbacks on your problem ideation okay uh, so that only you can able to uh, attract uh, the person so whoever is going to judge your project so you have to explain uh, so if this problem is existing in the sense so these kind of consequences might occur so likewise you have to develop uh, your idea presentation your problem presentation okay um, so second thing uh, creativity yes uh, there might be n number of solutions for an existing problem okay for example if the street light is not working in the sense so solutions might be uh, you just call to your uh, local electrician so or some government officials so that they can provide some solutions with that they might able to change uh, uh, the light or they might uh, uh, or uh, if you are thinking like uh, it, it could it could not be uh, very easy to turn on or turn off you are uh, street lights in the sense they might provide some switches to you so that you can directly go to that lamp post and you can uh, able to switch on or switch off like that okay likewise uh, there are multiple number of solutions are there but the thing is 
we have to find which one would be the best okay so if you are going to solve a problem in the sense first thing you have to understand the problem okay clearly right so this is the problem and uh, what is the impact of that problem particularly right for example if the street light is gone in the sense if it is not working in the sense so what are the chances of having the solution what are the chances of uh, tackling the consequences of that particular solution like that okay so you have to think about that and uh, you have to promote a solution in a creative way okay uh, so likewise uh, so as, as uh, we, we might have heard about this thing out of the box thinking uh, for example uh, a simple solution would be like uh, if you are provided if i have been provided with a switch in the sense you can able to turn on or turn off a light okay so for a particular time whenever uh, if if it is 6 o'clock in the sense you might go to that particular uh, a uh, sweet lamp uh, and you can able to turn on the switch and again after uh, by early morning you, you again you have to go there and you have to turn off the light like that so you might have some solutions like that okay uh, so out of the box thinking is you have to make that light work within the particular duration for example from 6 uh, pm at uh, the evening and until 6 am on the morning okay Uh, so you should not go there. And if I want to operate the light at my place, in a sense, you might be able to have some IOTs on there. Okay, even able to have some sensors there, so that you can. Uh, that is another one solution. Like you might have an app on your mobile. You can develop an app on your mobile. Uh, from your mobile itself, on your home itself, you can able to turn on your uh, street lights, and also you can able to turn off your street lights on that particular uh, time. Okay, this is one solution. Right. another one solution in the sense uh, you you do not care about the particular uh, thing okay which means that uh, you are street light okay you just develop a system and you have installed that system onto that uh, street light areas okay so that that system will sense uh, so the time okay so you have been provided with a, a clock time uh, to your device whatever you have installed on your street light uh, thing in the sense so it might able to sense your time and then it might it might switch uh, so what is the time now if it is 6 pm at the evening lessons it will automatically issue a command to turn on your street light okay and also whenever uh, the time is 6 am at the early morning lessons then automatically your uh, light would turn off okay so you can do this in a fully automated way okay so semi automatic solution is nothing but the one that i have uh, said uh, if in the previous okay that that means uh, from your mobile you can able to install an app and you can able to control uh, the configurations of your uh, street lights okay uh, you can turn on your app and you can uh, turn on your street lights and whenever uh, it is a 6 am or the early morning you can able to turn off all the lights okay so this is one solution another one solution is uh, as i said you have installed that system on the street light okay so automatically it senses the time and it can uh, turn on the lights and at the early morning it can turn off okay so this is uh, fully automated you, you, any human inter- intervention is not needed on the second system right so this is what we call as a best uh, solution right so uh, in your competitions uh, there might be n number of uh, problem statements are there and each in every uh, problem statements might have n number of solutions okay so the thing is uh, you have to be very very unique and you have to very very specific while presenting you are a problem as well as you are solution for whatever the project that you are going to make okay so that really plays as an important role for your team okay so whenever uh, you are providing a solution in the sense first of all you have to ensure whether we have uh, understood the problem very well okay so what are the impact of the problem and what are the things uh, that we have considered while solving that pro- while we are going to solving that problem likewise you have to do and then only you have to create the solution so that might plays a major role for creating an effective solution and also a unique solution than others right so this is the main thing you have to consider and uh, in case of uh, collaboration in the sense uh, uh, your way of thinking should be on different perspectives for example uh, if if that you have understood the solution okay and you are provided with some with some uh, uh, you have understood the problem and you have provided with some solution in the sense and then what you have to do is you have to think on multiple persons view for example if i am a, a non techy 
For example, if I am a non-techie, which means I am just a person on the street, I could not I, I could not understand any kind of technology, right? Then how I might use that light? So on that particular point of view, also we have to think, okay? And also, if I am not corresponding to that particular street, I am just using that street, okay? For example, if I want to reach my office or if I want to reach some market places in the sense, I might use your street, okay? So, if I'm going there in the sense, so, uh, for example, if the light is not working or, or uh, that if I may face any kind of uh, consequences in the sense, then how it should work, then how, how these kind of lights are providing me the effective solution. Likewise, you have the thing, okay. Uh, you should think out of the box, okay. For example, uh, a customer, so how they might think for a solution, okay. You are providing a solution for this street lamp in the sense. Uh, your way of thinking should be on different perspective. At the customer point of view, you have to think. And on the developer point of view, you have to think. And also as a normal public view also, you have to think. Okay. And uh, while you are installing that particular uh, device on your uh, street lamp in the sense, and while if you are an investor, you are paying some money for developing that particular product on that perspective also, you have to think. Right. So at each instances, these are the perspectives. The different views of people, whoever plays a particular role, okay. So, you have to think along with this, okay. So, on the, for example, if you are the investor of your project, then you have to very much care about what will be the budget, okay. Uh, you are just providing a simple, the solution might be very, very simple. But for providing the solution, if you are investing more amount of money in the sense, then it might be somewhat tragic, tragic uh, to your uh, uh, financial thing, right? So, so when I'm uh, uh, saying this, uh, once you have understood the solution and you have developed the solution in the sense, you have to think on diverse perspectives. Okay, so this is another one important point. The next one is uh, structured thinking. So, we, so most of us, uh, I think, uh, as our computer science students, so uh, you might underst understood the word logic. Okay, so for example, if you are going to develop a program in the sense, so before developing a program you you should understand so what will be the input and what will be the output like that okay and then you you might have some ideas okay by providing the input at this line you might be able to uh, calculate some values and after calculating some values in the sense you might be able to provide the answer okay so this is a logic okay so while understood you are problem and you are providing some solution after thinking on different perspectives you have to also think whether this solution works, okay, whether your answer, what you are providing, your answer or your solution or you might just come across with some systems that might really solve an existing problem, okay, you have to think whether it is logically right or wrong, okay. So, not only, you should not think like uh, this system is working, okay, for example, if you are uh, implementing a system or if you are providing some app on your mobile for turning or uh, turning on or turning off your uh, street light, uh, you should not think like whether it is working correctly. Okay. Not only you have to uh, consider that logic, you also have to consider the logic as so this much of amount that we are investing and this much of amount that we are getting as a gain. Okay. So, uh, your, your solution or your uh, uh, answer that uh, that might solve a problem should be very very simple okay but it should be unique think in that way okay so uh, we, we might have in two cases we might we might be able to provide some mobile app for uh, turning on or turning off your street light or uh, we might have some automated way you are just going to install a system on your street light okay so there is no intervention uh, of your uh, responsible persons are needed for turning on or turning off your light, simply it might work. Okay. So, these are the two solutions in the sense, you have to think in both the ways, which one might cost more, which one will have more amount of employees that might need to work with. Okay. So, the amount of work that we, the amount of effort that we are putting to our solution to make it work, likewise you have to think. Okay. So, logic is not, uh, is uh, not, not only thinking that your program is working correctly or not. It should also consider uh, your budget area as well as whether it might be a feasible one. Okay, so this is an important thing. Feasibility is 
also an important thing while doing your project okay so your investment might be more but the way of providing your solution the amount that uh, providing to your solution is very less in the sense it, it is really really very much important to look out okay uh, because uh, you might be able to spend uh, some 50000 or 1 lakh rupees for providing a solution but you are selling your product uh, only for 10000 rupees in the sense then it is not having some proper meaning right so for example if you are if there there is another way okay uh, some solutions might be existing right uh, <coughs> and uh, you are providing the same solution also uh, you have to think whether the existing solutions cost is more than your current solution for example um, i'm going to manufacture a two wheeler right i'm going to manufacture a two wheeler so already there are n number of two wheeler companies are there and n number of two wheeler series is are there okay so they are also having some proper configuration some high end configurations some uh, sophisticated works are uh, been adopted on that particular two wheelers like that okay so you have to think uh, so at what cost that you can build your two wheeler and at what cost that you might sell it for example um, so if you are selling a scooter like a model in a, um zest okay for example if, if you are, you are building a model of zest and the cost of this existing zest scooter is 80000 less sense and after uh, you are manufactured a product is selling at a unit cost of 60000 less sense then it is very very good okay you are providing the same solution you are pro providing the same answer for solving a particular problem but your cost is somewhat low in the sense then your idea is really good okay so idea is not uh, not much needed as a unique one okay it, uniqueness is really important but the thing is uh, if there is an existing thing and it is working good but you are providing the same existing thing at a lower cost in the sense then it is very very good so that that uh, might be work a particular or a perfect solution for your uh, existing problem right so, so hope you understand so what is the problem is uh, so the thing is uh, you have to understand another thing you have to understand so what is the situation that we are going to make out the problem to work okay so sometimes as i said earlier um uh, for example the street light might not work with the weather conditions yes uh, so the street in, in case if you are uh, facing some strong wind in the sense that might be some uh, fluctuations fluctuations in the electric uh, electric supply so there might be also uh, some kind of uh, things might occur so you have to think the situation so how it occurs so how so at what circumstances that the our project might work okay for example um, if there is a strong wind in the sense so there might be a chances of uh, cutting down the power supply yes so if otherwise when uh, we are facing lot of problems like that okay so our, our weather is not good in the sense so if it is raining heavily in the sense so automatically our power supply might be uh, switched off right so at that time you have to search so in case if you want to provide some continuous power supply in the sense so what is the alternative way or providing uh, or for assisting your solution to work continuously right so uh, we can take like a um, uh, solar power supply solar panel right since since most of the cities is having solar panels now right so there is no need to have some particular wire things for connecting your street light like that if you are installing a solar panel on each and every street light in the sense so it is not uh, necessary to consider uh, the fluctuations in uh, power supplies okay even though if it is having heavy rain in the sense your street light might work but having some reserve or some backup powers which are stored on your uh, local uh, storages power storages for example local batteries since uh, all the solar panels might be able to gather some uh, sources from the sunlight and it, it could be able to store that sources into a particular uh, power supply battery local batteries like that okay so likewise your uh, street light might be able to work from that local power supply so this is a situation okay so in case if there is any power cut during that heavy uh, rain due to that heavy rain in the sense so we might have some alternative way so your solution might have to work it should face 
in case if there is any failure it should automatically adapt at that particular situation and it should work and second thing impact yes so whoever is going to affect or whoever is going to impact with that thing is very very important right so whoever uh, lives on your street or whoever is going to operate that particular device is very much impacted right so uh, uh it, it, like impact in the sense uh you are uh, day to day in in your day to day life so you, uh, after uh, some specific time your light might be gone okay due to uh, sun, sunset your light might be gone so you have to analyze so when there might be some uh, minimum amount of light okay so for example uh, at the point of 6 pm uh, you might be able you might not have able to have some proper lighting sources so you have to Uh, since that particular time, and you have to turn on your street lights. So that that is an impact. Okay. So you have to provide this particular solution to work continuously to your uh, particular local people, local parties like that. Okay. And the third thing, uh, your uh, goal. Yes. So uh, the main important thing is you should not deviate your solution from your problem. Okay. That is the particular thing. Uh, if you are working with that problem in the sense there might be have some n number of solutions and if you have provided some simple and effective solution for your problem in the sense that is enough okay uh, the main important thing is if you are extending your uh, way of providing the solution by adding some features by adding some additional things to your uh, existing product in the sense then definitely uh, your cost of your product or your allocated budget whatever the thing that uh, uh you are providing that it might uh, it might go more okay so every reviewer uh might have these kind of things so whether you have understood the problem well and you have given the solution is really appropriate or accurate to you uh, to your uh, problem what you have taken so they really compare the, these two things whether if these two things are compared and it is really connecting with one another in the sense then they might ensure that your product is a successful one so this is very very important thing and uh, five white techniques is yes. uh, so um, while understanding the problem you have to consider what are the root causes that might uh, occur for creating these kind of problems for example what are the symptoms are there and uh, why these symptoms are occurring okay at what time these symptoms are occurring and uh, who are the external or internal uh, affairs that are creating these kind of uh, instances and what is the solution that we are going to provide for that particular uh, problems or even a single symptom okay for example uh, rainy seasons are there in the sense so that is that, that is a uh, natural calamities that might uh, cause some fluctuation on your uh, particular power supply right uh, so in order to uh, avoid uh, that thing in the sense we have to provide some efficient power supply unit for that uh, particular street light and how it works and also once you have installed that particular system then how that system will be protected from the rain likewise you have to think all these things okay not only uh, you are provided a solution uh, for a particular problem will solve the problem you also have to think how you can protect that particular solution in order to uh, provide a continuous support for that particular problem so this is another one thing okay so this is a major one identifying constraints as well as resources so uh, so constraints uh, we might know constraints are like uh, conditions right uh, so as i said uh, earlier we have to consider at uh, what time that it should work and what time it should uh, it should went off then what would be the budget okay so as i said earlier your selling cost should not be lesser than your uh, investing cost this is very much important okay also if you are providing some existing solution to a particular problem that is fine okay but the thing is you are existing solution should be very lesser okay when you compared uh, with the exist uh, whatever the solution that you are uh, going to promote to an existing problem okay for example um, in your home that you are going to make a light okay so if you are uh, having some 40 watts bulb in your home in the sense it might it might consume more amount of current right and uh, and you might have some idea so in order to reduce your uh, current bill so what are the possibilities that we might uh, have 
So you can able to replace that 40 watts bulb with some zero watts or some 10 watts like that. Okay. So uh, the solution is same, right? So you can uh, in your normal living room, you or uh, whatever the personal room that you might have, uh, it might not uh, necessary to have uh, the same thing. Okay. So your lighting must be must be somewhat okay in the sense you can able to change the light source, the way of giving the light source. You might be able to replace a 40 watts bulb instead of a, a um, 20 watts, right? So that you can able to reduce your bill. And the cost is also low. The solution is same. 40 watts bulb is also giving some light sources for your living room and also your 20 watts bulb is also giving some light sources for your living room. The, 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 the solution is same. Uh, but, uh, but just compare with the prices, okay? So your 40 watts bulb might be cost some high when compared with the 20 watts bulb. Okay, so this is also a success for whatever the idea that you are uh, going to build, right? So only your budget should be very much uh, considered and whatever the technology that you are using, yes? Uh, in case, uh, nowadays uh, we are having some uh, uh, automatically uh, turn on the lights. Whenever, in case if you are, uh, if your uh, area is going to shut down with power at the night time in the sense and you are not having some proper light source, there might be some uh, lights. It can able to store the power, and during the light, uh, during the power cut, it can able to automatically turn on. Okay, due to, uh, during the power supply, it can able to save some amount of power sources within that bulb itself, and it can able to retain that power. It can able to use that stored energy again during your power cut off. Okay, so this is a simple technology. Okay, so in the earlier stage. Uh, uh, we have implemented some uh, uh, inverters or generators. So generators are very much more. So in uh, it, it could not be used in the uh, homes since uh, the fuel might be high. So instead of generators, we are uh, implemented inverters. Yes, and inverters in the sense so it is also cost very high. Uh, for example, if you want to uh, maintain your uh, batteries, inverter batteries, or you you want to uh, change uh, some things on your uh, inverters in the sense, it costs very high. So after that, we have implemented some uh, power bulbs are there, okay. So in that bulb itself, it can, it can have the capacity of storing the electricity, right. So whenever your power uh, got shut down in the sense, you can able to turn your light on. So that is uh, automatically, so here while providing this uh, kind of bulb in the sense, there is no need to have inverters right, we can able to save money and there is no need to have some generators like that, okay. So within some uh, one hour or two hours, the power might uh, might be back, okay. So at that particular time only, we need some light sources, okay. So this might be the technology that can that can also save your money as well as your spaces on your home. In the inverters in the sense, uh, you, you must allocate uh, some specific areas in your home uh, for uh, placing your inverters or in case if you are using some generators in the sense it might be able to create pollutions also, right. So since uh, if you turn on your generators in the sense, so after uh, consuming the fuel, it might be able to produce some smokes that could also allergic to your uh, uh, family members, okay. Likewise also you have to think. So these are the constraints that you have to check without. And also uh, the regulations. So, after uh, the government rule, so we have to consider, so these are the things that should be implemented on the system, right? And also we have to provide some, for example, if you are giving some solutions like this, uh, whatever we have said, uh, by uh, simply replacing your uh, automated uh, power supply uh, in your uh, light bulb, so that is a possibility of having a low maintenance cost than inverters and also that is a possibility of uh, eradicating the pollution that has been caused by the um, generators. So likewise, if you are providing some potential advantages in the sense, then your uh, ideas is really, really good, right? And the next thing, while you are implementing your uh, uh, solution, uh, you have to think, so what are the resources that are available out there? We, 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 might, uh, we might think, uh, uh, we might think a solution like, um, like if you are running an industry or you might be running a medium scale industry like that. But the thing is, if you are creating an idea at the initial stage in the sense, 
so you have to look upon what are the skills that you are having in case if you are forming a team team in the sense you it might be very much better since uh, if you, if you are if you are a coder and you you are a friend is a tester in the sense then you can able to implement a program for that uh, particular solution okay what are the problem that you are facing you, you are providing a solution by creating a program computer program simple computer program in the sense then you might code it and you, you might give your own code to your friend okay in order to test whether it is working properly or not okay likewise these are the things we can say that it is a resource each and everything is a resource not only human uh, we may also uh, some uh, we may also say uh, a computer resource or, or we may also say some uh, uh, second hand uh, uh, batteries or some kind of uh, uh, computer boards or some logic boards or some kind of wires so each and everything is a resource right and also not only the equipment and whatever the knowledge that we are having okay some people might uh, might be very much aware about the marketing strategies okay so when we have to uh, sell the product and in what manner that we have to sell the product like like that in the sense if you, if they are uh, working in a hr uh, or they are they might be able to uh, do your product or sell your product in the market in the sense they, they might have a knowledge so you are the person who is having the knowledge is also a resource right so if you are forming a team in the sense we have to think out so what are the skill sets and what are the technology that they, they might have aware about and what are the hardware equipments that we are having and in case if you really need a hardware resource and if you want to buy a hardware resource from outside a market in the sense so that one is also very much important okay because whenever you are investing some amount of money while buying that particular thing also you should very much think okay first of all if you are providing a solution of to a problem in the sense you have to develop in a simple way you have to develop in a miniature okay uh, it is like a prototyping i, I, I hope you understand uh, you, you have come across this word prototyping is nothing but it is a simple miniature uh, of your solution whatever you are going to provide for your particular problem okay so this might work with your problem to solve it in an effective way because Uh, whenever you are providing a simpler solution to your problem in the sense then only you can able to understand so how it reacts with your problem okay and then uh, what are the uh, limitations or what are the drawbacks are there while solving the problem with the solution what you have developed and again you have you might point out so these are the weak points okay so that we could able to improve Uh, some other uh, things with that particular uh, weak, weak points, so that you can able to remove that kind of weak points from your existing solution, right? So these are about uh, the constraints as well as resources. The next one is uh, brainstorming. So up to that topic in the previous topic. So any queries uh, up to this? So anyone? So anything uh, anything you would like to uh, ask or anything you want you want me to repeat any queries up to that okay okay fine uh there's just a hold on a minute i okay fine uh let me continue is the next one is uh, brainstorming actually uh, the brainstorming is nothing but it is like a discussion right so once you have understood your problem and you have developed a solution which means uh, the thing is one if you are developing a solution uh, at first moment you have to create a prototype only you should not invest more amount of money or more amount of time or resource on that uh, particular thing okay because uh, you 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 might think uh, your problem in your perspective okay so and also your friends or your team might uh, think about that problem and you people uh, will gather uh, in a team and you might be able to provide some solution but in practical when you are applying that particular solution to your problem right there might be some uh, circumstances that might affect your uh, solution okay 
so you you don't have to quickly come to a judgment okay so that is what we call as a brainstorming okay so after implementing a solution uh, you have to apply that solution to that particular problem and you have to brainstorm it okay so we have to consult uh, with with our team members so we, we might have we might have some checklists or we might have some criteria for checking our product whether it is working fine or not with your uh, uh, particular problem okay like that you have to brainstorm it okay you have to discuss with your team members and each and every team member might have some different way of thinking okay and also if there is a chance in the sense you might able to uh, ask your customer whoever that you are going to build the product you can you might ask your customers also to involve in this uh, brainstorming session okay because uh, they might think in their perspective the customer might think in their perspective and then they can able to deliver some ideas like so that sir uh, these kind of things might be very much helpful or these kind of things would be uh, simple in working with that uh, solution whatever you, you you guys are develop for uh, uh, clearing out that problem okay you should not come to a judgment you should not uh, come to a particular uh, end point okay the thing is you might continuously uh, think and think and uh, to fine tune your solution okay this is what brainstorming is and the second thing is uh, mind mapping is so you have to after developing a small prototype or a solution to your problem you have to verify uh, so what is the starting point and what is the end point of your uh, particular solution okay so your starting point might be your problem okay once if you understood very well in the sense of that might be your starting point okay and then it should be mapped directly to the solution or a prototype what you have been provided okay so the relativeness between your problem as well as the solution that you are making should be very very minimized the space between these two things should be very 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 minimized so until you are uh, minimizing those cases you have to do the brainstorming again and again okay so once if you have been uh, really comfortable or uh, you have been really uh, satisfied with the solution what you are developed or your group members are satisfied with the solution uh, that have been developed and you might be able to have to a conclusion you might be able to come to a conclusion like sir uh, this might be the exact solution for that particular problem that we have taken in the sense then you might go for the next step right the next one is scamper okay so scamper is nothing but um so as i said earlier so you are going to have the existing idea right so likewise in the bulb concept okay so by replacing a 40 watts bulb with the 20 watts bulb in the sense okay so you have to check so what are the advantages of uh, doing this so we might able to reduce the cost okay in case the 40 watt bulb might be cost very high and your 20 watt bulb is somewhat lesser than the previous bulb price okay so likewise you have to think and also what about your uh, current uh, consumption okay your uh, 20 watt bulb might consume very low amount of uh, energy when compared with the 40 watt bulb uh, consume and also your power uh, bill might also be reduced okay in all the ways you have to think the budget your uh, technique and uh, your way of approaching the existing idea so this is what we call as a scamper right so you are substituting or you might be able to combine another one solution with the existing idea or you might to uh, apply some modifications on the existing thing so if you are doing so in the sense this might be called as a scamper right and uh, in, in your uh, competitions you are uh, idea competitions so scamper might be very much helpful with this okay um, so you might be able to find out some problem in your existing solution right so and you are providing uh, a proper idea for eradicating that uh, problem in the existing solution in the sense then your idea might be very much reached okay that is uh, the people might not think uh, that it is existing like that if you are just uh, just pinpointing Sir, in the existing idea that we are having these kind of problems like this, and uh, we are we have uh, solved this problem by uh, by alternating or modifying these kind of things. Since definitely your idea might be very much highlighted. Okay, 
so uh, the scamper is very very important during the brainstorm okay uh, you, you you might not uh, want to create a new idea or you you might not go for a unique solution you might take an existing one and you have to think but be, be, the thing is before taking an existing one you have to very much understand okay whether it correspond to your problem is uh, okay or not right and the second thing is uh, you have to identify what are the drawbacks are there in the existing system and then you have to come you have to think so what are the ways that we have to come across the problems of the existing ideas and you have to uh, make some substitution or you have to make apply some other changes for eradicating eradicating that uh, existing system and you are you might develop a new version of that okay so if you are promoting so in the sense definitely uh, your idea through the, through these kind of campus uh, whatever the idea that you might uh, you might giving it might be very impactful than the uh, creating the your new idea because existing is very much uh, low cost right existing ideas are very much uh, low cost and uh, if it is not working properly and you are making that existing idea to work properly in the sense then it is very very a successful one for your project okay uh yes so another one thing under this uh, uh, brainstorming you have to do a reverse brainstorming test so as i said earlier in the previous slide so as i said uh, mind mapping so from the starting point to your problem that you are considering uh, uh, here in the mind mapping in the sense you also have to do the reverse brainstorming right so once your problem is there you have given a solution and the solution is working properly but you have to think on what other perspective your solution might get failed okay so you have to think in this way also because uh there might be like i as i said earlier once you have developed a existing solutions uh, with uh, some modifications or you have developed a new idea for that particular solution then after two or three years your idea might be an existing one okay some other people <coughs> might be able to take your own idea they can create some modifications on your existing idea and then they can able to implement that particular idea to the market and they can able to so cat as their uh, own product so the reverse brainstorming is very much important right so once you have done everything in order to continue in order to survive in the market you have to do this reverse brainstorming thing right so you have to think in a backward okay so how this uh, solution might go wrong with the problem that i have been taken right and you have to come across with some innovative outcomes also right so once you have you have an answer for a question in the sense through that answer you have to approach the question suppose if it is if not works if this part is not working in the future suppose if the systems are going to update for example now uh, uh, we are going to implement our idea of uh, the initial uh, system configuration of windows uh, 7 okay so after some many years this windows 7 might not able to work okay might not work since it might be a older version in the upcoming uh, seasons or in the upcoming future the technology might uh, update we might have this we might not have windows 7 here after uh, in the future and the sense then it might be a drawback for our particular product or our solution we might think in that way suppose if the windows 7 is not working it is going to be dropped and the new uh, versions of, of operating system is going to be implemented at that point what you are going to do likewise you have to think okay so after that you have to consider that particular solution so whatever the way that you are providing in a effective manner for example uh, by providing some frequent updates by providing some frequent patchworks to your existing system uh, you are problem okay your uh, solution for that particular problem might withstand over a period of time really okay uh, for example if uh, might be uh, windows is going to update all the systems with uh, for example in the future like uh, windows 15 is going to be launched right so at that time uh, your particular solution is working uh, with the windows 15 also 
by having some continuous upgrades until the windows 15 is going to be launched you are you are just implementing some continuous upgrades and you are withstanding in that market in the sense then definitely your product might be a long lasting one once you have developed the product and you have solved the problem in the sense that okay that that is in the sense then at a particular point of time your uh, solution for that particular problem might go on existing thing some people might think your problem is existing it is having some drawbacks on that so i'm going to implement some uh, things on your system so that i can able to work a new product from us we, we cannot able to climb that so in this manner also in the future technology up updations or in the market in the marketing strategy also we have to think so you are uh, reverse brainstorming might have a chances of uh, providing some creative uh, solutions or some creative ideas to make your solution to withstand in the market okay so this is a uh, we already know swot analysis yes this is very very important for each and every project whatever you are doing right so first thing the strength which means we have to prioritize your idea so how it works what are the potential things that we are having on our existing idea actually this swot should be done on the solution in relevant to your problem what you have been taken okay but the thing is you should not deviate outside your project if you are doing a swot analysis in the sense you should not deviate outside the project if it is relevant to your project or relevant to your solution whatever you are provided then it is okay and once if you have done this swot analysis in each and every period of time then you might have some uh, future uh, long lasting ideas for that particular problem right the first thing is strength uh, just you are going to assess so what are the potential areas what are the strong things that that are in your own uh, problem sorry own uh, solution that you are going to solve that problem for example uh, um, so we are going to we have already discussed that uh, we are going to automate the working function of a street light okay so once if it senses the time of 6 pm then it is going to turn down and uh, during at uh, 6 am at the early morning uh, so it is going to turn off in the sense that is a potential strain because there is no human intervention is there we are going to directly uh, provide an automated way of working that street light so that is a strain right the next thing is weakness right so uh, so here in in terms of that particular street light weakness is nothing but so in case we might take uh, these kind of weaknesses in different perspectives in budget we can take this and also in case of technology we can take this and in case of feasibility also we can take this right uh, some limitations are there while implementing these kind of street lights on each and every lamp post is really difficult because in a street uh, we might have some minimum 5 to 10 amount of uh, street lamps uh, lamp posts are there by installing these kind of systems on each and every lamp post is uh, very tedious so that is a weakness one okay and also the budget that uh, you you might want to invest on installing that particular uh, street light is also weakness right likewise you have to understood so what are the practical limitations or practical difficulties are there while uh, providing a solution to a particular problem and the next thing is the opportunities on what ways uh, we are going to make out our uh, idea to shine so that might be your opportunities for example um, so you might uh, your idea that means your solution what you are providing to uh, solve a problem okay might be somewhat different uh, from the existing one different means uh, might be uh, advanced or some kind of additional uh features are there when compared with the existing in the sense so that might be an opportunity okay so suppose if the existing system is by developing a mobile app we can able to turn on or turn off our uh, system okay our street lights in the sense that is an existing system so, but here the opportunity is so at each and every time we have to look up on whether uh, the time has uh, come to switch on the light or switch off the light okay so we need we need not to worry about the time if you are implementing an automated way okay 
so you are introducing a new system right so to turn on or turn off the lights in a effective way so that we can able to provide an effective solution on this so this is an opportunity you are going to provide some additional features with it right and the most important thing is the next one that is threats uh so mainly when you are proposing an idea to a market because uh once you have implemented a solution to a particular problem your reviewer will definitely ask what will be the threat of your problem which means it is entirely based on your competition okay so as i said earlier um if uh, i'm going to manufacture a scooter a two wheeler in the sense there are n number of two wheelers are there n number of two wheeler versions are there and uh, about the features of each and every two wheeler is very much uh, competitive right so before starting uh, to understand the problem not only you are going to start to understand the problem you also have to understand what are the existing things are there who are all the competitors right like it might be a company or a group of companies or a particular middle scale groups are there they might also provide solution for whatever the problems that we are uh, going to solve right but for tackling these kind of competitors we must in uh, ensure that some kind of innovative things some kind of uniqueness that are in our uh, uh, that are existing in our uh, solution what we are going to provide uh, for a particular problem so this is very much important and if you have introduced a unique even it is simple if we have introduced a unique solution to your uh, problem okay then definitely you are idea what about the solution that you are going to provide for solving a problem is really going to reach the market in a better way as i said earlier um for example uh, if there is no self start in the two wheelers in the sense suppose if i am going to provide the bike with some self start with this i need not able to uh, make some kick starts okay for example if i am uh, landing on a signal in the sense and if i am if i have been provided with some self start in the sense so until the signal has been turned on to uh, green so i can able to switch off my bike i can able to um uh, save some fuel so by saving some fuel i can able, uh, i can have some uh, savings like that in the sense if you are providing these kind of ideas while providing your solution so it is a unique one right so your product will definitely uh, withstand among your competitors you can able to come across these these kind of uh, threats um, from your solution right okay so this is a prototyping as i said earlier so once if you are going to develop a solution uh, in the sense at the initial step you have to generate a prototype first okay a prototype is nothing but it is a simpler version okay it is a version 0 like that okay you are not going to promote any kind of big idea or any kind of websites or any kind of mobile apps like that okay you are just providing some kind of miniatures of your solution okay for example um uh, you are going to uh, manufacture a writing material in the sense it is not necessary to develop a ink pen at the initial stage itself okay first of all you have to uh, and just assuming if you had to assume uh, this thing if i am going to provide some writing solutions okay so you have to create a pencil first okay and then you have to check uh, whether so what are the things are there while we if you are writing in pencil in the sense it is not that much darker so that is a drawback okay and also once uh, uh, your pencil might able to vanish uh, very fast because if you are writing through pencils in the sense then uh, the resource it is not sufficient for having your solution in a longer period of time so that is a drawback on that so after that you, you have to think so what are the next step uh, in that so if you are providing a refill pen okay so it is darker and you can able to write uh, that uh, using that uh, refill pen uh, in uh, in more amount of time than comparing with pencils right and then you might uh, 
have some another one drawback once if your refill has been emptied in the sense you have to throw off but what about the cost of manufacturing it the lead as well as the cover okay and the plastic things whatever you have been uh, manufactured for uh, uh, for this uh, refill pan so it is waste then you have to move on to the uh, ink pen okay fountain pen right so that particular mechanism is uh, is withstanding with us once if the ink has been dropped off or it has been emptied in the sense we can able to refill it right so we can refill it and again we can use it so we we, we need not to throw out you are a fountain pen outside like a refill you can able to reuse it so this is what we call as the stages of prototyping right so at the initial stage if you are providing a pencil and then if you are uh, if you are okay with that you are just uh, analyzing what are the dra drawbacks are there with the solution that we have been provided first right and then you are going for uh, uh, uh refill pens lead pens right and then uh by manufacturing and again once it has been emptied we are going to throw out uh, this kind of leads okay whatever the refills to that has been and uh, the process on whatever the cost that have been uh, consumed by manufacturing these kind of uh, refill pens is uh, very much worst and then we have move on to the fountain pen likewise you have to prove at each and every stage you have to think what are the drawbacks that are in our already existing solutions it should be done with the product whatever we are working with it right and also once uh, you have implemented at each stages so from pencil to refill pen and then from refill pen to fountain pen you have to test each and every thing whether your drawbacks that you have been identified with the existing solutions have been solved or not okay so for example uh, pencil while writing through pencil it is not darker then you are introducing refill pen on there you are writing the same things then you have to check whether the words are clearer whether the words are looking darker you can able to read it clearly like that okay and uh, another one uh, thing after introducing the fountain pen you have to ensure whether it is working properly and also your fountain pen is uh, going to be used again and again reusing likewise you have to do this so this is what we call as pilot testing okay so these are the things that we have been uh, done in with the previous slide and the next is a uh, new thing so that is uh, hydration as well as refine okay so once uh, you might you might able to come across with uh, versions right so versions 1 version 1 version 2 like that okay for example if you are providing a solution for a particular problem at version 1 in the sense there might be some uh, drawbacks after some amount of time there might be some drawbacks on that okay so at each and every time period you have to collect some feedback from your customer and whoever the stakeholders are stakeholders are nothing but whoever employed for your project or whoever involved even a small role on your project would be called as a stakeholder it might be a project manager it might be a hr or it might be your own team members you it might be your customers or developers or testers whoever okay so you have to involve all those people on your uh, system in order to collect the feedback okay so once you have developed a system you have come across with an idea you have to get some feedbacks on your system and uh, in case uh if if uh, if you are getting a feedback from a customer in the sense it is very much uh, uh welcome right so for example uh, if you are going for a project uh, contest in the sense so once you have developed the solution for a problem statement you have to go to your personal guides okay and you have to ask whether the solution is okay or any feedback that we have to any other uh, uh, features that we have to implement uh, there in the existing thing or uh, how it works the way of working we have to change like that you have to collect because uh, whenever you are working in that particular solution it is a uh, very much uh, tedious uh, to accept whatever the things that we have been uh, in that we have developed in case if you are if you are having some drawbacks it is a human nature if you are having some drawbacks in our own system then it is uh, very difficult to accept it so only we have to gather these kind of feedbacks on other people 
okay who ever related to your project okay so uh, other than developers so it this might be very much helpful for collecting your feedback and you are going to improvise your uh, uh, solution in a better way and the next thing once you have collected your feedback and then you have to analyze each and every feedback some feedback might not work based upon your budget based upon your timeline based upon your resources as well as technologies okay you have to check whether the given feedback is adaptable to us or not okay for example if you have developed your system in a in your own laptop which is with having some uh, minimal configurations suppose another one person or a customer might say just implement this solution in a super computer like that okay but uh, the we, we cannot have such kind of provisions uh, in our country because it is not very much easier to buy a super computer and uh, uh, implement our solution on that okay so such such way you have to think whether if all the solutions are feasible or it is adaptable so if if a customer is seeing a solution whether it is okay with our requirements or not okay so whether it uh, it just comes under the particular budget or it comes under our technology whether with the resource what we are having uh is a uh, okay for developing these kind of uh, feedbacks or suggestions likewise you have to do that suppose if it is okay uh, so within the given budget within the uh, given uh, technology or whatever the resources that we are having so with these kind of things uh, if it is okay with the features whatever that have been recommended in the sense we can adjust it all right and again once we done each and every area we have to test whether it is working or not not only with the implementations we have to analyze the market strategies too right for example uh, if you are having a biscuit company in the sense suppose at the initial stage you are uh, uh, your way of approaching your market is uh, very much low you are selling very minimum amount of, amount of biscuit packets in the sense you might be able to increase the offers like by 20 percentage uh, additional or uh, 30 percentage uh, more likewise if we are but it is not we might have some only two amount of biscuits on that particular uh, uh, packet okay but it is uh, we, we might not uh, want to think each and every customer might go to a um, weighing scale and they might check if it is 100 grams in the sense whether it is 130 grams like that they, they might not test it okay so this is this is like a marketing strategy right so likewise you might implement these kind of strategies for repeating your test after uh, adding 20 grams to your existing product whether it is selling to your market or not or if you are providing some free stickers likewise kids might know free stickers or you collecting the packets of your biscuits might have some uh, uh, computers or they might uh, go for some education tours like that okay likewise you might introduce some kind of feedback also so not only uh, the feedback should be um, uh, like a technology or uh, in case of a technical background it might also comes under marketing background also right so whenever you are implementing a product whenever you are presenting your solution to a reviewer it should consist in both the manners for technological perspective also you have to cover and for marketing perspective also you have to cover and yes decision making so after uh, completing all your solutions so the first thing is cost benefit analysis yes your product should be financially be viable so as i said earlier uh, so whatever the cost that you have invested on implementing your product uh, should be meaningful right for example if you are manufacturing a two wheeler bike and if you are selling that bike with the 5000 or 10000 lower cost with the existing on the sense then your uh, product might be viable okay and also you are manufacturing uh, for that particular bike is 50000 and you are selling that particular uh, bike uh, with uh, 15 to 20000 additional which means 65000 to uh, 70000 in the sense then it is financially viable okay you should think whether the amount of money that we are investing on the product should not deviated with the selling one it should the selling product the selling price should be greater but not that much greater you have to go once if your product is a 
popular your brand is popular in the sense then you might go for uh, some price uh, uh, rising okay the next thing is consensus uh, building uh, so actually as i said in the previous slide whatever the suggestions or whatever the feedbacks that have been given by your customers your stakeholders it should be facilitated in your existing solution okay but it is not necessary to consider all kinds of uh, feedbacks because you have to consider uh, whether it is up to the budget or it is up to the financial stages with a given resource with a given technology is it possible to uh, feasible or possible to do these kind of uh, feedback in our existing solution like that so this is what we call as consensus building right so you have to facilitate your customer if your target customer is a uh, is a manager or some kind of uh people in the sense it should uh, meet out their standards what are the requirements that they are need it should your product should meet out those standards as implementation of this as said earlier so specific requirements should be very very clear once if you have uh, understood your problem then you are going to make out uh, a solution for your problem in the sense so first of all you have to understand so what are the specific things that are or specific requirements that are required for your problem uh, solution implementation okay so there are, we, we should not gather unwanted things additional things once you have analyzed your problem you have understood your problem in the sense before providing the solution you have to check out what are the requirements that are needed is sufficient to implement our solution or not so that is very much important right so we should not gather all kinds of requirements okay for example if you are building a, a normal bike cycle in the sense it is not necessary to have a motor on that okay a normal bicycle is just having some two wheels and pedals and the handbars like that just some braking systems like that okay but you are providing some motors on that in the sense then your bike cost might be high you might implement it but your bike cost might be high and the, that might affect your product uh through selling uh, in market it costs more high when you are providing some motors on your bike cycles right and the second thing timeline yes so as i said earlier each and every period of time you have to collect the feedbacks and each and every period of time you have to look out the marketing strategies okay so what are the uh, solutions and what are the new competitors that are arising uh, in in relevant to our problem okay so nowadays it companies like uh, cognizant um or uh, tcs or some kind of uh, other things ibm accenture like that okay so these are the idea uh, it giants they are also providing some kind of solutions to them okay but they have to update everything time to time so that they can able to withstand uh, in the market likewise if you are providing a solution for clearing out the problem in a sense you have to understand about the marketing strategy what is the current market status is there and what is the current technology is there what is the current features that are that have been adopted on the our competitors uh, products so likewise you have to track and you have to implement uh, these kind of upgrades on your system your solutions and as well as the resource and responsibilities once uh your product has been reached to your market you have to expand your resources your responsibilities you have to build up your team in a better way okay uh, so during the prototype as i said earlier during the prototype so once if you are having a proper writing system using pencil okay it is working fine in the sense then you have to move on to the refill pen okay then you have to develop some kind of resources for manufacturing that refill pen right again uh, now these kind of uh, refill pen manufacturing things are going to be thrown to a dustbin once it has been emptied in the sense right then you have to maintain another one uh, thing that is a uh, fountain pen then you have to assign some responsibilities responsibility is not only like a uh, uh, assigning manager like that okay some social responsibilities might uh, come across with your product also okay so while explaining your product to your uh, reviewer you might say sir by throwing 
it is kind of uh, empty the refill bin outside and nothing might cause some pollutions like throwing plastic to the surroundings or environment it might cause some pollutions like that okay you can able to convene scheme if you are having a fountain pen in the sense they can able to refill the ink and again we are, we are going to use it right so the number of reusability is very much high and the exposure uh, to the environment in regarding with the pollution is very much reduced likewise if you are developing some uh, social responsibility throughout this product in the sense then your idea might be somewhat catchy is yes, uh, implementation effectiveness so as i said earlier the quality is very very much important while developing your product you are problem once you have started with the problem after understanding it clearly uh, so you have to ensure whether the track of uh, developing the problem uh, by providing some solution some appropriate solution with that should be very much uh, equal right so you have to you, you have to ensure by having some kpis that is key performance indicators right so whether you are product or you are solution that you have been provided have meet out some particular criteria like quality it solves all the problems it satisfy the customers requirements likewise you have to do this for example if you are providing uh, some uh, automated uh, street lights in the sense so you have to check whether it is uh, turning on or turning off on a particular time period it is working on a long lasting period then uh, even though in uh, some rainy heavy rain circumstances or some kind of strong wind so you are working of light is withstanding likewise you have to track it okay suppose if it is not doing or you want to evolve uh, into another stage you have to move on to the future stage in the sense you have to make some adjustments on that okay so for example um your light has been connected with the dark power supply so you are just replacing those instead of some uh, solar panels okay you are just making some adjustments but you are you are way of providing the power supply is same the electricity is same but the way of coming uh, for the electricity is somewhat different in the previous stage you are providing the electric electricity through wires and uh, you just uh, observed that during the some heavy raining heavy rainy season or in case of strong wind or some uh, critical weather conditions your light might go off then if you are replacing it some uh, um, uh, solar panel in the sense there might be a chances of having uh, um, like a, a power supply continuous power supply without having any kind of intervention okay so these are the implementation effectiveness of your solution to a particular problem okay so these are the chances of making your customers more attractive to the solution what you have been provided okay the role of creativity is the first thing uh, it should be open to your environment even though if a if a person is not techy so he can able to use your product in an innovative way right so you are way for formulating your idea the way that the people are using your solution should be very much simple okay for example if you are implementing an idea so it is very much uh, sky fi right uh, but uh, some normal people who who could not able to understand about the technology who cannot uh, who are not well versed with the technology right but you have to think at their perspective that that people should also uh, feel very easier in working with your product so this is what we call as a diverse perspectives okay both things are same so once if a people as a techy one okay he is technologically strong and if a people who is uh, doesn't uh, have some proper uh, technological background or not having some proper knowledge on that particular technology so that particular person should also capable of using your uh, idea in an effective manner right so this is an another one important thing when your reviewer might, uh, might ask you right so once you have implemented a product yes so technological point of view it is okay but whenever it's a uh, people who is not having any kind of technological background his uh, his level is a very 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 simple like level 1 then uh, they might ask like so how they are going to use your uh, product like that 
ओके सो अट देअर पर्स्पेक्टिव ऑल्सो यू हॅव टू डेव्हलप अँड यू हॅव टू कम्प्लीट युअर प्रॉडक्ट इन अ बेटर वे फॉर एक्झाम्पल जस्ट अ स्विच एन इलेक्ट्रिकल स्विच ओके सो इफ यू आर गोइंग टू टच दॅट इन द सेन्स इट माय डॉन and when you when you want to switch off in the sense it, it, we, we, again you have to touch that particular switch by going up and down that's it a simple way okay but it is not necessary to know what is happening inside that particular switch but we might know some people who ever well versed with the technology might know how the switch is working okay but to that people who ever not having some technological background we have to provide some efficient way to make them to work with your product okay you have how to think in their perspective also and how to develop your product yes and also another one thing uh, so technological innovation uh, really it is a very uh, risk taking because uh, at the initial stage it is very very serious to promote some solution on a successful way we might have some failures so only we are going to provide some prototype on that first of all you have to develop a pencil so once your pencil have been developed in the sense then you might have some failures on that like uh, some people might have some drawbacks they might report some uh, negativities like your product is not writing in a darker manner like that okay so these are some kind of failures you have to analyze so what are the what is the existing thing on that and what is the measures that you are going to take uh, to provide your solution in a better way so once you have developed all these things in the sense you might be able to have some agile team self motivated right so once uh, your team is is uh, ready to withstand on any on facing any kind of failures in the sense they might really able to contribute to you uh, towards providing a better solution for a particular problem right so only uh, we are going to promote this in every product as a prototype and take away in the sense so first of all while you are implementing an idea the first thing is you have to define your problem in a clear manner right so before defining a problem first of all you should understand what is the problem is the second thing you have to do some brainstorming techniques for example uh, if you are not having any idea to create a new one or a unique one you might go for some scamper like the scamper uh, things by uh, by having some existing things and you are going to make out some changes on the existing thing and you might be able to come up with some uh, come up with a new one so no one is going to ask anything you are just pointing out some uh, negativities on the existing idea and then you are going to correct it and you are going to provide some new solution on that but it is also an acceptable one okay financially it is a good one and then once you have developed in the sense you have to evaluate whether it is working proper it is feasible right so it might uh, impact on your customers who ever not uh, technically good or technically bad requires for all circumstances for any kind of marketing strategies your idea should withstand and uh, the next thing you have to make out some prototypes on that so once you have done everything you have to make out some prototypes so cycle or cycle manner you have to find out the drawbacks on those prototypes and, and you have to develop in a continuous uh, manner one by one you have to develop like by sharp pencil to refill pen and refill pen to fountain pen like that and the last thing you have to provide some environmental cultures uh which means uh, you are going to make out your members to feel that your idea is innovative it is unique it is somewhat simpler than the existing one likewise so uh, coming to the conclusion so whatever the ideas what are the things that you are going to pitching in the market or uh, in your uh, uh, showcasing uh, competitions right first of all you have to make your idea in a creative one whether it is a new one or you are going to eradicate a uh, negativities in an existing one first of all you have to make a creative thing you have to think whether it is work working or not so how it works on what flow it is work likewise you have to make a structured manner and the next thing so how to develop those idea in a systematic uh, process right it should impactful for all kinds of people so not only from techy specific or some kind of nor- normal people how to cover all the things and uh, whatever the challenges and whatever the feedbacks that are being given uh, from your uh, reviewer or a customer 
you have to analyze it and we have to check whether it is feasible to our existing solution whether it is feasible with our budget whether it is feasible with our technology as well as resources like that in the last thing uh, so once you have done in the sense you, have, you are going to develop a successful product in the sense you have to check out so what are the competitors are there okay meanwhile uh, if you have you have developed a solution with a time period of 6 months okay meanwhile in uh, any of the corner of the world some other group or an individual might implement a solution which might be same as like you or sometimes it might be better than you so uh, while implementing these kind of ideas you also have a knife towards at this end so whoever is going to promote uh, the same idea so whoever is going to promote the ideas that are better than us likewise you have to think and you have to develop your product and continuous iterative improvement is very much effective for your uh, innovative strategies right and uh, so that's all about my session so any queries or anything you want to say in the sense you might ask now yes yeah any queries uh, after this is there any any questions you might ask uh, you want to ask in the sense you might ask now uh students i i hope i hope you have some things in relevant to idea generation right so in case in case if you have any doubts in this you might ask now right the first of all if you are taking an idea in the sense you have to think whether it is uh, possible uh, to you are uh, uh you are way that you are you are stage of technology like that okay uh, let me just uh, take out a problem statement in uh, sih is let me just uh, share on a screen now Uh, yes so uh, this is a problem statement that i have taken out in uh, sih smart india hackathon so it is a smart irrigation system for precision farming which means an accurate uh, farming so the problem statement that i have been given here is so inefficient use of water resources as well as uh, reduced crop yield okay so this is the exact thing that you want to understand first of all if you are reading a problem statement in the sense you have to understood so what is the exact thing that we are going to tackle out so here the field is agriculture right so and uh, here in the agriculture so water resources is very much important and uh, it should be abundant in some cases some kind of crops it should be very much abundant for that particular crop right uh so for that efficient uh, handling of uh, water usage it is very very essential uh for making the usage of water level up, up then up to an uh, optimized manner yes uh so so what are the existing solutions are there in the sense so in in general all the farm lands are been used with some uh, water reservoirs or uh, some kind of uh, well or some ground waters which have been pumped out with some motor pumps right so likewise uh, all the things are happening now in the agricultural system right so efficient uh, water usage in the sense some farmers might not know uh, 
whether uh, your crop needs uh, some water now or not. Because whenever if a uh, rain is there in the sense, so at that particular time it is not necessary uh, to supply the water to your uh, particular farmland, right? And also in some cases there might not be rain, but your soil might be somewhat moist. Okay, there might be some cloudy weather are there. Okay, and your uh, amount of water consumption to your crops might be very much uh, reduced. Okay, it is not necessary to have much amount of water to your uh, crops. Okay, whenever your weather is very much cloudy, right? So uh, you might be able to sense the weather. You might be able to sense some your uh, moisture level on your crop land. Okay. So for that, for that thing, we might go for some moisture sensors. Okay. So through IOTs, we can able to implement these kind of sensors in our land, and then we can able to monitor what is the moisture level on the land. Okay. So and then, uh, so we can able to predict that how much amount of water is needed because in the summer, your crop might be very much uh, in need of water. Resources, right? But whenever, in case of uh, rainy seasons, or in case of uh, uh, after uh, rainy seasons, your land might be somewhat uh, having some moisture. Okay, at that time again, you are providing some more amount of water in the sense definitely it affects your crop. Okay, so now you have to think in a better way. So how much amount of water is needed, and where we should stop the supply of water? At what point we should stop the supply of water? Likewise, you have to think it. Okay, so you have to think in weather conditions. You have to think uh, the soil moisture levels and your crop. How much amount of uh, water will be needed for your crop? Likewise, you have to think and you have to provide some solutions for this. Okay. So likewise, you placing a sensor on that particular field. Okay, and uh, monitoring whether uh, the soil is uh, moisture or not, and it is somewhat moisture in the sense you can have some water. And while uh, pumping uh, while uh, operating your uh, motor, you can able to have some IOTs. Likewise, what I said uh, earlier, okay, like uh, switching on the electrical light using some automated system. Likewise, you can able to provide some automated system for uh, operating your uh, motors. Likewise, you can able to provide some smart agricultural system for your uh, farmlands. And whatever the amount of water needed for your uh, crops might be very much uh, calculative. So this is what we know as uh, precision ag agriculture, precision farming, right? Likewise, you have to think uh, in these kind of manners, right? So once you have been given with the problem statement lessons, first of all, you have to read out and you have to completely understand. Uh, so what is the thing that they are exactly saying and what are the ways that we can promote these solutions and uh, in what ways that it is very much adaptable to that particular problem statement. We might have n number of uh, solutions are there, but we have to check whether these solutions are uh, uh, provided, whatever the solution that we are provided is accurate to the problem statement that we have been encountered. Likewise, we have to think. So this is a simple example uh, for make out your uh, problem statement and giving some proper solutions on that. So this is a problem statement uh, that have been given from University of Agricultural Sciences, Darwad. Okay, so I have taken this from uh, SIH website. Uh, yeah, okay, fine. So any doubts up to this? Uh, yes, I think I, I, I'm done with my presentations. Yes, if you want me to ask any queries in the sense, you might definitely ask now. I would be very much helpful uh, with that. Well, any queries? Students? Uh, any queries or any kind of feedbacks uh, you want to deliver in the sense, you definitely uh, go on.
Is any query when uh, I would I would like to thank the management for giving me an opportunity and uh, the professors and the organizers of this uh, presentation for providing me an opportunity for uh, delivering the session wonderful session with uh, you guys so thank you all so if you so if thank you, you all, thank you so much sir thank you thank you ma'am okay let us see. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, sir, Hello, for providing okay. a valuable PPT, ma'am. Sir, I request Monica Yogaraj, our second year, to deliver a vote of thanks. A warm and grateful morning to the dignitaries. It's my privilege to propose the vote of thanks on this special occasion. It's my honor to thank our dynamic principal, Dr. M. Kartikeyan, sir. Thank you, sir. I must mention my deepest sense of gratitude. So our chief guest, Mr. K. Jaya Kanesh Kumar sir, who is an assistant professor, Department of AIDS, Yam Kumarasamy College of Engineering, Karur. Thank you, sir. I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to our faculty members and the staff members. Thank you, ma'am. I am delighted to thank all the students who have witnessed this special occasion. Thank you, students. I once again thank everyone for your presence. Thank you for all. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Um, uh, can can we wind up, ma'am, or anything? Anyone to ask? Wind up, sir. Yeah. Okay, ma'am. Fine. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.